Archie elves and food. Oh, episode 57. <laughs> sometimes I forget to say episode, uh, and sometimes I uh, start recording too late, and it just cuts out, whatever. The dark elf girl's the gar dark elf girl's name is Marifa Nagatsu. Until yesterday, she prepared herself just in case that she would die. Wait, this is narrator. After all, she was wounded, so her value was lower. She couldn't speak because of the injury on her throat. Even if she was sold on a sale, she wasn't confident that someone would buy her. It all began when her village was attacked by a horde of monster. Just one monster in a horde. In <laughs> In the middle of the attack, she was caught by a slave trader. She lost one eye, her ability to speak, and suffered a serious wound in her back. The slave trader used white magic, but it was a blessing in disguise. They didn't heal her completely, only enough to prevent her from dying because of excessive bleeding. Living in a slave dealer den was horrible. Slaver den. Why the fuck wouldn't he just heal her all the way if she would sell better like that? Living... <laughs> Living in a slaver den was horrible. Although good slaves could get three meals a day and even a room, she was lucky to be able to have a meal once a day. Sometimes she got only a bread and some leftover soup. What are you thinking? Marifil looked at the questioner, and it was you. She diverted her eyes, but her ears are still twitching, trying to find out what he will do. Then after some time, the slave trader comes out with him. Oh, oh, he asked her, in a more kind, poli <laughs> kind polite tone, What are you thinking? Ah, uh, uh, how do I do his voice? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, sorry to keep you waiting. Don't worry. Don't worry. I forgot how to do his voice. No, I didn't. It'll come back to me. The slave trader expression didn't change, but he's sweating bullets. It clearly showed his intention to not offend you. So, shall we start co by completing the slave contract? Whenever you buy a slave from a trader, the slave will begin be given a collar. This collar is embedded with a magic imbued with a contract. I don't need that. What? This is for your own safety. Slaves who tried to flee, those who tried to harm the master, those who wanted to steal money in such rebellious acts. As long as the master had held the slave contract, they couldn't do any of that. If she doesn't like staying with me, she could walk away. <laughs> Quite a unique way of thinking. However, you won't let your 500 gold coins run away, right? About that 500 gold, I have tell you that I that I'll pay it. If she runs away, that is my problem, not yours. Hmm. Yeah. He'll pay it. It's whatever. However, the slaves can't walk around town without any collar. I'll find something that resembles it. Anyway, have you decided a name for her? Name? Doesn't she have a name already? Uh, of course, using my eye ability, I can see her real name. It's Marifa Nagutsu. After that, you walked away with Marifa. However, not long after that, he comes a weird sound from behind you. It was coming from Marifa. <laughs> oh. It was the sound of a stomach rumbling. You stopped walking and said, There is an inn near here with good food. They are strange people, but the meals they prepare are good. We will eat there. Of course, while staying there as a slave, she clearly lacked food. Marifa didn't reply, only the sound of her stomach signaling that she will comply with you. She only looked down with a bright red face. It was the inn that you first stayed in when he came to Comer City. Even when it's not lunchtime, the seats were 70% full. Welcome! Do you want to stay or take a meal? It was Melissa that greeted him with a cheerful voice. Oh, you come again. That girl behind you, is she with you? Melissa is grinning, however, she might may have uh, misunderstood something. I want a full set of lunch special. And for the girl, it's the same. Usually it was not strange for the slave to wait outside while the master is eating. However, today you brought her a full, bought her a full set, and what's more, allowed her to sit on the same table as him. Is there something wrong? You asked Marifa, but she replied instantly by shaking her head vigorously. She didn't think that she would buy her, he would buy her a meal, a complete set on top of that. She was excited. Today's special, was it? It was... What is it? What, what was it? <laughs> it was... <laughs> Kazumidori special. Chicken baked in herbs. All right, two portions, too. Coming right away. Melissa returned to the kitchen to convey the order. On the other hand, Marfa was restless and fidgeting. The good smell in the hall couldn't contain her excitement. Not far from the table, two adventurers are sitting. Their faces are blatantly unpleasantly looking at Marfa's collar. Not long after that, Melissa comes and brings a meal. It was filling up the table. Sorry to make you wait. Today's special just finished baking. From the kitchen, some steam is rising and the smell of herbs was coming out. Hey, I think I've seen her somewhere around the slave shop. I know, it's ruining the taste of the food. Of course it was coming from the two adventurers. They are deliberately speaking loud to make you hear that. You looked at Marifa, and she can only look down. Is there something wrong if a slave eats at the inn? You asked Melissa, which stayed silent. If we are a hindrance, we'll just leave. Of course I'll pay for the food. Then Melissa spoke. You know, nobles, slaves, inside this inn, they are the same thing. This, there is nothing wrong with it as long as they pay for their food. If someone was disturbed by it, they can just leave and never come back. The hall then turned into silence. Melissa only threw a cold gaze at the adventurer duo. 
Yeah, Melissa, we're sorry. That was unintended. So noisy. Get out of this place. I don't want to see your face from today on. Melissa words to send them away is cheered by the others around us. Under such a heavy pressure, the two adventurers can only run outside. Melissa's the best! Way to go, Melissa! Melissa, be my bride! <laughs> then she received praise from the people in the hall. After an embarrassed smile, she got back to use table. Sorry, now you can eat peacefully. Thank you. It was good that I chose to eat here. Of course, you will come back again, right? Definitely. I love it. The, the end. But yeah. Ha 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 Sorry, I have to turn back to the kitchen. Return back to the... Eh. Seems like Melissa misunderstood you word again. Yeah. Uh, like, like he loves her? No. Whatever. Seems like Melissa misunderstood you word, words again. She ran down the kitchen and fell down on the way because she was in such a hurry with a red face. <laughs> My plan, in the meantime, can only be taking a peek watching you. What are you doing? Quick, eat the food before it's cold. Before it's cold. Mm. Marifa Mari eats the food silently. Maybe it was the steam, maybe it was because of the hot food. Marifa nose was runny and her eyes were watery. She's doing her best not to cry while eating. Oh, oh he's got a slave. But she's not really a slave. She's just a girl who can't talk. Yay. <laughs> So, so only one of her eyes is fucked up, I guess. Right? Isn't that, isn't that what it said? All right. So she can kind of see. That's good.